Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I just wanted to make a helpful tutorial um, today on uh, how to stream music uh, throughout your house or even through through the internet. And basically, which it's really simple. It's basically uh, we're creating a, a music streaming server or you want to call it a music streaming computer. Basically where you would just set up the program and then you can go to your web browser and type in the address of the computer and then a really, really slick uh, web page will come up and you can browse throughout your music and you can even download it. Um, so basically, just simply, you would just need a very basic computer, nothing too, nothing too advanced. Alright, um, first we're going to uh, get on the computer that we're going to be using. Um, as for me, I have a little thing, a uh, remote desktop here. Because um, if you saw when I was uh, showing you the computer that I used earlier, no monitor or anything hooked up to it. I just kind of, all I have to have is a power cord and internet cable or ethernet cable hooked up to it. And then I just kind of stash it in the corner. But um, I have Windows XP Professional. You know, probably more people now have Windows 7. So if you have Windows 7 Professional, you can use Remote Desktop. I'm not going to really go into it here, but it's just a, uh, a Windows program that allows you to remotely connect to your computer. And you just need to know the IP address of it. And the computer that you're connecting to must have a password. That's just one of the requirements. So I'm just going to connect to my computer. But, you know, it'd be no different if I just sat down in front of it. So, I don't know what that is in the bottom of my screen popping up, but that does not look good. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, obviously, I already have it all set up, but we're just going to go through the process of what you would do if you do not have it, which obviously you don't. Um, I'm just going to go like go with Firefox. Wait for this extremely slow computer to load it up and then you just search it's called a program called Saxo yes bad name it sounds like a bad name for a puppet or something so then we're gonna go click Windows download from Windows and then you would just hit save and since I already have the file, I don't need to do that, but you would hit save. And then for instance, once you would get it, I'll just right click, but it'll come in a form of a zip, and then you just right click, or you know, if you don't have WinRAR, but you would just simply unzip it. So then you would just extract it, and then it would come in this folder right here. So double click Soxo, double click it again. You double click Windows, you'd hit run. And then you wait five, six, ten seconds, and all of a sudden a little graphic screen will come up saying sock. So and then you'll wait about five or ten seconds, and then it'll pop up and it'll say this. So now we're on this screen. And from here, um, it'll just show your whole music, but you obviously don't have any of it, so you go to collections. And here I just have a whole mess of just unorganized stuff, but you know, your first course of action would be to hit add folder. Um, and then you would just, let's just say for instance, yeah, it was my music. You'd hit my music and then hit open. I was going to cancel, but you'd hit open. And then all music inside of there uh, would be automatically scanned. But then if you, if it's some reason it wasn't saying down here that it was adding, you would just hit scan now. And then it should go through all of it. Like it, for some reason it still adds some of these, which are already added, but it does it again. And then it'll go through this. And eventually when it's on, it'll say collection added or collection updated. So now after you do that, um, let's wait for that to finish. And it'll say collection updated. And we'll go to general. Really nothing you have to mess around with here. Not too much. Leave the port, the default 4444 is simple to remember. And, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, you can pretty much keep this the same. And you can hit here if you don't want people downloading music. Let's say you were going to have a few friends and you for some reason didn't want them to download. You'd click that. I don't want them to be able to download. Um, 
enable folder folder browse, browsing. I'm, I believe that's actually browsing through your music, which that'd be pretty stupid. Um, uploads, enable uploads. So you don't, if you want to be able to upload music, but as of now, it it seems like that function isn't working. I've even set, sent it to the guy who created this program, and he said he's working on it. So hopefully he does. You can hit don't require login for uploads. You don't have to log in to upload. And you can even have logging, which is a little more advanced. But um, other than that, then it will say down here uh, your your address, and this is actually your outside address. This isn't your internal like 192.168. That's within within your internal network. But your router gets this gets that address right there. Um, so basically, then other than that, once you've added all your music, that just gets minimized to tray. And then I'll just go back to my computer here. Let's open up Firefox. Just to test that it works first, we'll go to the local address, the so internal. Mine is this address here, 192.168.1.118. At at now, you can't just type in that address and be like, oh, good. You have to type in the port number 4444 with a colon after the IP address, like I did here. And now you're here. You can browse. Very simple. You can create playlists by clicking that a little bit. And you can even hit download. Very simple. Um, and that's one thing I forgot to mention. I'm um, going back to this computer. You can even add users. As I have a temporary account, if I want to let someone in temporarily, that I just give them the password and then I'll just, you know, delete it or whatever, just so they can't keep logging in. And even here, you can hit require login or no. But do remember, if someone does come across the address, which is unlikely, but they could, um, they could just pop in and start downloading music, and it can slow up your internet. So I would recommend you do require login. Then there's also a, a register feature; people can just register. So it's kind of the same thing as, you know, you, you might as well just click disable register unless you have a public, you know, a public place where you want people to listen to your music, but I would disable registering. Um, but then you can just create a, create a user. You have to have an email for some reason. I don't know why, but you need a valid email. So you just create a username, password, repeat it, email, boom, create user, and then log in to your SOC. So, um, now we're going to try the actual external. This is if you're going to go through the internet. If you're and the cool thing about this is if you're at your house, like I'm, of course I'm right now, all my music is centrally located at that computer, so I don't have to store it on my computer here. And if I want to listen to it on someone else's computer, say a friend comes over, his laptop, I can pull up my web page and listen to it, and I don't have to have four or five, ten gig worth of music running around on my iPod and load it, you know, and it's it's a lot easier. And then if I need to wipe out my computer, which I do pretty often, I screw stuff up a lot. Um, I don't have to worry about my 10 gig of 10 gig of crap needing to be backed up. It's all on that compact, so it's kind of nice. But you'd always use the internal address, the 192.168 address, because it's instant. You know, through the internet, it has to, it go it'll go through the internet and come back to you, which is pointless if you're at your, if you're if you're within your if you're actually right in the same, you know, if you're at your house basically. So you type in my external. S slightly slower. But yeah, and then I would just log in here. And then voila, you're here. And then there's other things you can do, like pop up player, if I were to click here. You know, embedded player. It's not letting the music play because WMG will probably s smack me with some crazy thing like audio muting or something. And then you can even do M3U, which is what will pull up like iTunes, Windows Media Player, as it says here. So you can even do that, which is really cool. Um, so other than that, if you're... Oh, yeah, I'm like, and that's another thing. If your internal is working, but your external, like this is external, it's not working, one thing to try. Go to your router, which is generally going to be this address here. And you can even ask me questions if I'm not being too clear on this, but you go to your default gateway. You need to go set up your router. I actually set up a password just for safety. And then, then you go to port forwarding. And this is all the stuff that I have set up. 
And right here I set, and, it, and every router will be different, so don't, add, don't send me with all your cryptic numbers of your router and whatnot. I mean, I know a few routers, like I have a real common Linksys here, um, some W54G or something. It's like I call it the pink Linksys. It's very common. It's a four-port switch with a wireless or blah, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but you just choose your, you know, you just add, you just add something. You you click add. You type in the name. Music say port 4444. Four, four, four. Just have both. Type in the address of the computer that sh that that you're using the Soxa with. And since it's not ranging, it's only saying one. You just go 444 two four 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 and click enable. Or your yours will be a little bit different than mine. And then hit save settings, and then it should work. Otherwise, you're gonna have to call your eyes your internet. You know, I call your internet people or ISP and tell them to help you out or something because then that's on their end. So other than that, um, if you have any questions or, you know,